Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do part two of The Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson and this is for the uh, Color Along project that everybody's doing. It's the HK5 project and um, I am doing one page and it's this little froggy page and so far we've done the frog and the little box it's kind of like a jewelry box he sits in. So that was part one and we're going to be doing the candle ajar back here for this video. We're going to do the candle in kind of a pinky colors and then um, bring the purple down into uh, the jar and um, I will probably be bringing in an extra color for the flame because you know, purple, pink, and blue don't exactly make a flame. <laughs> so we're going to have to um, bring in a color. And if I bring that color in to do the flame, I might add it into the uh, base of here and around the trim of the jewelry box and the little um, scroll work down here. So if I bring in some extra colors, it will be the uh, goldish tones and I'll bring it in for those items but I will leave a little bit of some color up here and like I said the gem is going to be done with all the colors brought together into it. So, so far that's how the little froggy has turned out in his box and we will get the camera down and work on the jar or well, I guess it's a jar and the candle up at the top. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. All right, here we go. The um colors we're going to be using for the dripping wax are the black raspberry, the uh, clay rose, and the light peach. And I'm going to start with the light peach up here at the top. This is where our lightest color is going to be and I'm going to bring it down on one side. Just this edge here on all of these wax drippy pieces. Uh, because the flame is up on the top, that's why the lightest color is going up here, if you're curious. And because I'm going to bring in a different color, I want to leave the flame reflecting on the top of these. That's why I'm only going on one side. I'm going to bring it down. And there's one here in the middle. Kind of just touch it and leave the top of that one. And then here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in... I have to find my pencil set. <laughs> I should have gotten that out earlier. Sorry about that. I'll take this one. I'm going to bring in a yellow. One that'll go with the peach. Let's see. Mm, has to be yellow-ish. Might as well go with the canary yellow. One of my favorites. And looky, it's a big pencil. <laughs> so we're going to add that in. because we're going to put it up here in the flame also. So we'll add some in here. And then you'll see that it will reflect down into this area. And all the lumps of wax that are dripping down. Kind of bring it down and give it uh, some highlights where the flames will hit on the way down on the lumpies. And the lumpies, that sounds bad. And it's the, the wax strips. <laughs> Okay, and then 
we'll add a little bit of reflection down here. These will be kind of covered up with the dark raspberry, but let me just add a little bit in there so it kind of looks like it's dripping down. Of course, our darkest color here is our black raspberry. And I'm going to bring that up. Just start with a few and then we'll bring in the clay rose. So then we'll just come up with the light peach. And just bring it up. And we're just going to keep playing with the uh, color. Until we like what we get. <laughs> And leave some areas uh, empty for a lighter tone of the yellow. I think I'll bring in a creamier color there. Neighborhood doggies barking at squirrels. Busy dogs and my cats over on the bed snoring. <laughs> my cat's life. Okay, we're going to go back in with the um, black raspberry and darken these areas up. And 
the closer we get to the top, the less of the black raspberry is going to be in, and you're going to get more of it down at the bottom. Okay, back in with the um, clay rose. Blend that up. bring in some peach blend that in a little better up at the top bring it all the way down Taking it over the uh, yellow to kind of change the color of it a little so it's not so bright. And then we will go back in with the raspberry and darken up any areas. choose what is bottle and what is not. And bring some of the raspberry up in here. Okay, I'm going to bring in a little white too. I have a white pencil over 
hair. And then we're just going to add it in here over the yellow. I thought the white would work well. Dull it down just a bit. Also give us a little more accent on the wax dripping coming down. So that is our candle for the most part. up in there and burnishing it. Okay, now the candle flame itself has got to have more color in it than just the yellow. So the wick is going to be the black raspberry. And bring that up in there. We're also going to bring a little of that out into the flame. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of blue in there also. So a little of the indigo blue. Right around the wick. And then going up, we're going to get a little of the the yellow up here at the tip, but we're going to bring some of the raspberry down. And then we're going to use the yellow to blend all that in there. a little tiny white here and highlight that wick a little bit better. And get a little bit of a glow to that. Take in the raspberry. Darken that up a little bit. And if we think it needs a little bit more glowing, we'll just bring in the eraser, which I have to clean because it has blue on it. <laughs> and we'll just add a little bit of lightness down here. I have to see this a little closer. So basically what I did was erased the blue out of there. And a little bit of more of the yellow here. And then the white. bit of the white uh, gel pen and we're going to bring in some highlights here on the wax that's dripping down.
on the flame. And we're going to do it wherever you kind of want to see a little more drippage. Just like that. So that is our candle and then we have to work down towards the bottle area. Okay it's time to start on the bottle and then that'll be the end of part two. So we're gonna bring in the purples because I'm gonna do the bottle in purple so that's the black grape, the grayed lavender, and the parma violet. So we're going to start on the edges here with the black grape. And this to me looks like something that is laid down on the bottle, only because it comes out farther than the bottle here. <sighs> Always fun. But we're going to do a little bit of the grape here in each one of these. We are going to um, say this is a rim that it sits on. So that's going to be the color that, again, this color, and this one, this rim, and the bottom rim here, and probably the foot of the dome here are all going to be one color. I just have to decide on that color. <laughs> A little later. That'll be in another part. We're just going to finish this bottle hopefully quickly. Not too quickly, but you know, so the video isn't an hour. And then we're going to bring the purple down into the bottle here and up here. down on this side. I'm purposely leaving an edge here. And since there isn't a f there should be a foot down here because <laughs> this is open. Let's see. If I put my pencil on the line there, that jar a bottle should come down into here. So we're going to color that end in purple. Okay. These are going to be black, so it doesn't matter if I go over them. Just darken that up a bit. We'll come back and darken it later. Okay, go in with the Parma Violet. And we're going over the whole kit and caboodle and bringing it up a little bit higher so these two touch. Same on this side and on all of these areas. Of rushing that a little bit. <laughs> so then we bring in the gray lavender over everybody and up to the circle area here. No, 
I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. So I want to blend in those colors and bring them out. Notice there's a little bump here on the other side of the paper. It's a little piece of stickle, so you just have to go around it a little bit more. And we'll go up here and do the same thing and burnish the color out. Blend it in. And on all of these guys up here, we'll get those done. I'm putting a lot of pressure between the two um, lightest colors, I'm not going all the way up to the top on the pressure. It's softer up there, just because I have to go back in with the black grape and darken that up. And I'm going to sharpen the pencil. And just come in and darken all these areas and blend that out a bit. Remember these are being painted in black so it doesn't matter if I go into that. Okay, putting a bit of pressure on this too because I've burnished that and I want this color to show up. So just darkening it up at the top. Off camera I'll get this done a little better. Basically that is what we're going to do there. And then I'm leaving this one outline uh, plain. And if I can find my handy dandy little black pen. These will be paint, painted colored in in the black. Just like the ones down here. Also these. Just the little scallop guys. I really can't see too close there but leaving the little dots for stickles. So those will be done all the way around. You know, the um, little gem here will go around all of these little guys here in black. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the setting here in black too. Okay, so when we come back the bottle will be finished minus this little area because that area has to be done in something else. Now the bottle top comes up here, so we're just going to add the purple up here. Get that taken care of. There. Okay. So I'll just keep working on this off camera and get this all blended in. I'll put a little purple in these little guys up here too. And then when we get back we will do part three. And part three will be this piece. I'm going to leave this open because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. So until the uh, fourth part of the video this will stay uncolored. <laughs> Just this part. Um, the rim will be done. So I will see you in part three. 
If you're liking this and need notifications, hit the little bell. If you've subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't, think about it. This is the kind of videos I do on this channel, and if you like them, you can subscribe. I welcome you as a subscriber. <laughs> okay, and I will see you guys in part three. Have a great day. Bye now.